OK, take a look at these funny faces. Weird, aren't they? Look at that. That one's quite scary. <laughs> and this one is just <laughs> plain bonkers. And can you guess how they were made? In four easy stages. A four-part attack. For the first part, you need to make some dough. Now, for this, you're going to need two cups of plain flour, one cup of salt, and one cup of water, and pour them all into a bowl. Then, the messy bit. Using your hands, knead the mixture together. Now, this may take a little while, but you should end up with a sticky ball. Now, if your mixture is too dry, add a little more water, and if it's too wet, Add a little more flour. Then put about a third of your mixture to one side for the moment, about that much, and then just roll this bit up again. And now it's time to get tossing. Place a piece of card or newspaper down to protect your work surface, then stand above the card and throw the ball of dough so that it lands with a splat. Then squish it down with the palm of your hand into a flattish splat shape. And I promise you, that is great fun to do. Very satisfying. <laughs> and if you're not happy the first time, just scoop it up and do it again. Now you need to turn the splat into a face, and for that you're going to need the dough that you saved earlier. Start to mould your face by poking two holes where the eyes will be, and one for the mouth. And you can even pull up a nose. Then make details with your leftover dough, like eyeballs, and sausage shapes for eyebrows and lips. And just mould and sculpt with your fingers, making crazy expressions and funny shapes. There's the ears. And you can even use a pencil for the dots in the eyes and the nostrils. And then you can pull it, twist it, squeeze it and tweak it into any expression you want. And when you're happy with your funny face, you need to dry it. Now, you're going to need to get some help with this because the best way to dry it is to bake it in the oven at a very low heat. Gas mark 1 or 50 degrees centigrade for a few hours until it's gone hard. So look, do me a favour. Make sure you get permission or better still, do what I always do get someone else to do it for you. Then, after you've left it to cool for a bit, it'll be rock hard, like this, and now you can paint it however you like. Let's make it silly. How's about blue for the face? Now, acrylic paint is good for this, but you could use poster paint if you want to. But you don't have to be realistic with your colours, as it all adds to the crazy effect. How about metallic red for the lips? <laughs> and silver for the eyes and eyebrows? And when you've painted the whole thing and it's dry, give it a coat of PVA glue. Just slop it on all over, making sure you get into all of those nooks and crannies. Now, don't worry, because when the PVA glue is dry, it goes clear and not only gives your face a shiny, varnished effect, it really strengthens it as well. And you can do all sorts of faces this way. How's about this? Look at that. That's a real grumpy old man. And the way I did this was I just pulled all the features down with my fingers. Look at that. Scary, isn't he? And look at this one. I really like this one. This reminds me of my old art teacher. I just tweaked his beard and made some rolls for his eyebrows. Look at that. You'll never make an artist, Buchanan. <laughs> and how about this? This is sort of a pixie effect. I just pull the ears right out on that one and tweaked his nose as well. Fantastic, huh? Great fun to do as well. Try it yourself. Splat some dough and make dough splat faces.